Creating consistent characters for your products like children's story books with generative AI tools can be quite daunting for a lot of people. But with the launch of the GPT store by OpenAI a couple of days ago, it has provided the opportunity to find GPDs that could help us create consistent characters with dal e a matter of seconds. So in this video, I'll be showing you what that GPT is and how to use it to create these characters, not just only for your children's story book for but for things like your faceless youtube channel your talking avatar so let's get started coming into chat gpt we'll be using chat gpt4 so you are aware of that and chat gpt4 can only be assessed by people who are using the pro plan and above if you're using a free plan you won't be able to assess this within chat gpt4 when you come to the left bar here you would see explore gpts once you click on it it's going to open up the gpt store so this is what was launched a couple of days ago by openai let me just give you a quick tour here you could see different gpts according to different activities that you want to use them these are some of the ones that are trending within the community and people are using it very often to generate different things here at the very top you can type in if you know a particular gpt you want to use you can search for it here for us we'll be using this gpt called consistent character gpt you could just type it in here once you click on consistent character it's going to open up to a new page and for that new page this is where we'll be using to create our consistent character the next thing that we will do is to click on here it says click here to start creating character designs we'll click on it and it's going to load up and say to us great what um, character design do you want to make do you want to make a female character or a male character we'll just reply male and it's going to say please provide a name we're going to call our character sam and then it's going to ask us could you describe the character details for sam such as the age country hair outfit edc here you could go all out to give a detailed description of what you want for your character remember that we are creating this for a kids or children's story book here i've put in something a 12 year old african-american nicely cut hair a yellow hooded jumper with mic graphic wearing skinny jeans black skinny jeans white frame glasses brown eyes black nike trainers and hit enter is going to ask you what kind of image do you want to create? Do you want to create photography, pixel animation, 2D flat illustration, or anime pasta? So you could choose any format that you want, depending on what you want to create. But for this tutorial, we'll be using Pixar animation. Here, I will just type in Pixar animation and hit enter. And then it's going to ask, what should I vary in each image? For example, the expression, the action. I'm just going to say that I want to vary expression, action, and time of day. You can do some other things that you want to vary. Here, let's just modify its expression and actions for now and hit enter then it, it will now ask you what would be the first expression or action you would like to see for sam and what time of day should it be let's test the first prompt that i have here i want to see sam happy working forward and it's going to be day time hit enter and wait for that image to generate this is the first image that was generated. You could see how stunning this is. It generated everything that we wanted. Him wearing a yellow jumper with a mic graphic on it, the jeans, the sneakers, the glasses, the hair, everything. Next thing is that he's asking you what would be the next expression and action for Sam for the next image. Remember that we are trying to keep this same character consistent for every given image. The next particular action that we wanted to do is we want Sam to be riding on a skateboard with his hands in the air and let's see what it's going to do. 
and we'll wait for this to generate as well. This is the second image that was generated. You could see it's always riding on a skateboard with his hand on the air, which is really cute. You could see that there's a little variation. The characters, this is the first one when he's working. Everything looks similar. His eyes are similar. Everything is similar. The only difference I could see is that his hair is a little bit ruffled, if you could say so. But here it's combed out but in terms of the consistency it's there let's go ahead and generate the third variation of sam to see how that looks for the third variation we would say that sam is laughing and waving his hands during the day and we'll just type that in and hit enter and see what it's going to generate this is the generated image this looks really cool the hands are good everything looks really nice we have been testing out different um, expression of him laughing specifically let's go ahead and do an expression where he's basically doing something different this time around we'll be testing the expression of him being surprised with his mouth open and his hands on his head let's do that sound so with surprised face with his mouth open and his hand on his head daytime we'll hit that and wait for that image to be generated so we could see a different expression this looks really stunning you could see this is still consistent but there's something that i noticed that i also want to bring to our attention is if you look at his sneakers you could see that it feels like he's wearing like left or right left you need to pay attention to this and maybe generate the image a couple of times to make sure that these sneakers look but you could see that the consistency um, is there i feel the other thing that is changing as well is the graphics on the shirt but let's go back a little bit you could see the graphics on the shirt and you could see the graphics here the thing else it changed was it changed the glasses this is almost like a four cornered glasses this is still the same but here it made it a little bit round it tends to vary it a little bit but in terms of the character being consistent in terms of the color the hair and everything is consistent generally throughout we have looked at it moving forward laughing skating in being surprised you could see that let's test one more before we move into other things i wanted to show us today one more that we'll be testing would be sam from a different angle so as dreaming he's walking from the side so we could see what dal e does with that we'll say whistling and walking forward with a swag side view daytime hit enter and wait for that image to generate as well you could notice that all the backgrounds are completely blue for all these images that we have generated so watch if you want to put this character in a background and let's see how that would play out using doll e here i repeated the same last instruction i gave it but i put in in a pack because i want to have a bit of a context to this particular character we hit enter after the image was generated, you could see how it put Sam in the park background where the Sam was taking a work. You see that the character remains um, consistent. I decided to go ahead to test it and ask it to put um, Sam in a skating ring where he's dancing. And as you could see, it put Sam in a skating ring as well, maintaining majority of his features and just changing the boots because obviously this is a skating ring. And in case you decide that you want to change the background yourself i will show you shortly in canva how to do that but before we go into canva let me show you some couple of tricks that i found that you could use to generate the same consistency without it changing things like maybe the graphics or the shoes or just trying to maintain it as close as possible the other ones generated are close but it keeps varying the images in slightly what i did was still in the same year what i asked it to do was i said can you show sam in four different poses i said standing running working dancing and four different emotions like happy laughing crying shocked 
the image should be wide. And here, as you could see, that it maintains everything about Sam. It maintains it throughout. It is different in terms of the image compared to the last one. But in terms of the consistency, as you could see, some things like this, you could pick out it laughing, shouting. You could see that the facial expressions are different. But when it comes to the shoes, the clothes, the graphics, everything is very consistent. I decided to test this out again further and I asked it to generate a couple of different poses by in walking, laughing and crying and you could see how it generated it, making everything very consistent. You could use this method as well to generate the consistency, but you need to have built up a bit of information like we have done throughout this tutorial before you could use this to generate a set of poses or a set of emotions. So assuming that you don't want to create a background using Dal E, you like the images as they are, but you want to create your own background somewhere else and then put these characters on it. So what you could do is just to click on this arrow button to download. You can download all the images. So I've downloaded all the images to my computer. I like to also go ahead and upscale these images remember it's generated by ai and i like to increase the quality because if we bring this in and zoom um into the images it will start getting a bit blurred i've gone ahead to upload all the ones that we have created to upscale all the ones we have created i mean and downloaded them for instance you want to put your storybook together using Canva. You can come to the Canva website, go to create design. I'm just going to use just a random dimension just to show you what I mean. For example, I want a specific background, but before then, let's upload the images that we upscaled. I'll just click on upload file. I'll click on the folder, select everything, click on open, and it's going to go ahead to upload all the images that we upscaled. So in terms of the environment, for instance, I want to put a different environment here. Here I could say I want to have a park with a bit of a street here. I'll just say set as background. You could see how this looks. This is a little bit um short. Just um resize it to a larger um size. We would go to here, resize, and let's choose something a little bit large. Okay, so I've resized it to something large. What we could do is let's just go to one of the upscaled and or the one that he's riding on a skateboard so we could click on it so here we could just you could see how clear this is because of how i've upscaled it compared to what it was before let's reduce this a little bit and then what we could do there are different ways you could obviously remove the background in canva what you would do is click on edit photos you could use remove background or you could use the magic grab I'll just say remove background and it gets rid of the blue background, leaving just the image that we have. You could see how clean this looks and you could see. This looks really nice. You could use this to set up your storybook as you want. And not just only storybook, in case you're creating things like kids' faceless YouTube channel, you could use this um, as well. I just use this just to showcase a bit of how this would look on a different background in case you want to create the background yourself and not generate the background using Dolly E. One last thing I'll show you in this tutorial is also how to cut this out. So I've already upscaled and uploaded this image here let's use this as an example you could see that this is pretty upscaled and the quality is higher but what if i want to cut this out in canva i'm just going to take this out here and take this out because it's cutting it out i'll change the background just to give us a bit of color just to see when we are removing the background we click on this go to edit photo and then we'll just click on remove background and it removes the background so next thing choose to move this one after the other as you can see this is just a single image then you could copy and paste and then you could move this to fit in just the one that you want if you're struggling removing this you could go to edit photo you could always use the magic eraser remove these images at the side let me show you what i mean here 
brush over this to take it out and then i think the shoes were showing you could brush over the shoes when you get back to the image you would notice that it's out of the image or out of the picture let's go back you could see here what i was talking about is out and then we could make a final copy take this and then So you could also remove the shoes here like i showed earlier once you're done arranging the images like you want the next thing would be to go ahead to download it i get a lot of questions where people ask that if you take something into canva and you're downloading it it loses its quality so i'll explain different scenarios where you will use this and how to download this the first scenario is if you are creating kids storybook and you're putting the story together using canva if you're putting the story together using canva you don't have anything to worry about once you're done putting together your storybook the next thing you need to do is go to to share and go to download this time around your storybook is going to be in pdf okay so you're going to choose pdf print best for printing and here you will choose instead of choosing rgb best for digital use you're going to choose cmyk best for professional printing that is the only way the quality of these images are going to be remained as you could see that for you to use the cmyk the you have to use canva pro so you could always use the link in the description box for you to use canva pro for one month free so another scenario is for instance you don't want to um you're not creating a children's storybook but you want to download these images because you want to use it on a different tool what you could do is you click on the share click on download and then click on png now when you are downloading it don't leave it at the same size take it up to even about two times or three times of the size so the quality remains and then you could go ahead to download um, the image if you have any questions, write it down in the comment section and let's have a conversation about it. This is just the beginning of a lot of interesting tutorials lined up on this channel to help you maximize your workflow and generate passive income while at it. So to make sure that you are staying informed on when these tutorials go live, kindly hit that like button, hit the subscription button and turn on your bell notification. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.